What's going on everyone? This is John G, AKA Mystic Go In. And yes, it is true. If you haven't heard it, Logan Franklin is shutting it down. Will no longer be competing in men's physique because he's making the switch to compete in classic physique. So he's done with men's physique, making the move to compete in classic physique. And you know, he's had a pretty good career in men's physique. So last year at the most prestigious bodybuilding show in the world, the Olympia, Logan placed, I believe, seventh in men's physique. And then at his last show, which was the Arnold Classic, very big show, he picked up fourth place, you know, and a thousand dollars. So not bad for Logan. So comment down below on how you think he will do in classic physique. So I first heard about Logan after his beef with four-time men's physique Olympia champ Jeremy Buendia. Nobody, you know, that nobody, that nobody outworks me. Nobody, nobody, nobody. So you know what? On Saturday, I'm gonna show you, George, and I'm gonna show the rest of these guys why I've been on top of the last three years and why it's not changing this year. I've been champion and it ain't changing. So that actually wasn't directed at Logan, that was directed at another men's physique competitor, George Brown. But anyway, Logan won't be the first to switch from men's physique to classic physique. Very popular guy, Sadiq, he made the switch in 2016. I believe he didn't compete in any classic physique shows except the Olympia, and he actually placed third in 2016. In 2017, I believe he got seventh in classic physique. So he's done well in classic physique, not as well as he's done in men's physique, because he did really well in men's physique, but he's you know, doing, doing well, holding his own. Another guy making the switch, Jason Poston recently announced that he's moving from men's physique to classic physique and he did really well in men's physique. Also, he hasn't yet competed, hasn't stepped on stage in classic physique, so it'll be very interesting to see how he does. And the guy we talked about earlier, Jeremy Buendia, had said that he would make the move up to classic physique after he wins his fifth men's physique Olympia title. But, you know, Jeremy's just coming off of surgery to uh, repair a pec injury. So my question is, if he doesn't win this year, is he going to move up to classic physique anyway? Or is he going to wait till he gets another men's physique title? I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, good luck to Logan. It'll be interesting to see how he does. I think it's safe to say that you know, 2018 competing, he shut it down. He won't be competing in 2018. Because if you want to be competitive in classic physique, I mean, you got to have size and conditioning, and that just takes time. So we'll see how he does if he steps on stage in 2019. Again, comment down below on how you think he's going to do. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one.